This is how this is set up. Basically, you got little governor arms with half inch bolt all the way down there. And basically that ran up to this. Original pulley head on here was a six or uh, yeah, six inch. And yeah. Let's just say um, it wouldn't come off the old motor, so I had to beat it off, and that's what got ruined. I didn't want to buy an extra hub, so I used the original hub on it. Basically, just evened everything out and snugged the pulley together and then welded it. And there's that. And then it's got a lock collar on the other shaft, just to keep the pulley from walking up and down. It's got one else too, one on top. Now, over here, you got obviously you got your transmission pulley. This is what I call the three point clutch. It's one pulley right here. It's a flat idler pulley, another flat idler pulley, and then a regular V pulley. I can get my hand in there. Regular V pulley right there. And if you look at the whole piece, it sun's freaking killing. There. Basically, if you look at the whole piece. It looks like a big L. That's how it's set up. And when you go push clutch in, if I can do it with my hand, because I got. One spring, two spring, three spring. Uh, and I think that's it on this one. Yeah, I got three springs, and they're all big clutch springs. So I got plenty of tension. Like, you got plenty. And, uh, I get up here. Like I said, this clutch is a pain. But how it works is it does that. And then. I have my parking brake is basically just this little hook lever with a little notch in it. And you basically you push it down and lock it in. And then basically you got your regular brake. I'll make if I was gonna have a high low, this is probably my high low lever too. I was thinking about putting like a uh, uh, high low three speed in or six speed to call it. But right now it's just a standard six speed. Uh, Spicer, it's got a solid axle and I have no problems with it, but the way the clutch is set up, see it's all nice and loose, everything's plenty of slack in it, and then when you go to engage it, it's nice and tight, nice and snug, barely missed the shifter, it's just a pretty easy little thing, and then on this, these were the blocks I had to work with. This was the original block, and it just basically the head cracked in it, and then the coil went out, and it couldn't get the coil off. So this was the 18 that I stripped down. It wasn't a bad little block. It's just I wanted to use the 18 parts and a 20, or actually a 20. Okay, that was a 20. That was an 18, and. A, Parts I put in it were 20 on on a uh, uh, what was it 14 and a half or I think a 14 and a half no yeah it might have been 14 and a half uh, post twin basically there's that uh, everything's all looked up fires right up only problem I have is my coil it doesn't kill so what I have to do is basically pull the plug out or pull the wire off and yeah, it shocks the shit out of you, but it pulls it off. But, uh, that's everything on that. But, uh, everyone, know, everyone knows to do the fuel pump thing, because if you got a tank under the seat, they ain't going to pull it. Uh, it's got no governor now. It just hangs there freely. I didn't want to pull the pin out completely, because I clipped the other end off on the inside of the motor, so it doesn't hit anything. But, uh, this little clip or the bolt I didn't want to take out because I have to find a new one. And there's just be more things to worry about going and loosen the motor. But, uh, yeah, overall, that's it.